Well, here we are at the Columbus Expo. Me and Bowfin Junkie. What up? Gonna be a good one. I'm gonna walk you around, show you what's going on, geek out on some gear, check out the hog trough, meet some people. Let's go. All right, Jake, what are you gonna get your wife for so, Valentine's Day? So, you know, I think I'm gonna surprise her this year. Oh, yeah? Uh, she's been really asking for this. <laughs> Uh, think it, you think I this think, is the color she'll I, like? I think she's gonna love it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Favorite color, favorite color is purple. I love it. Hey guys, look what I ran into. Andrew Hayes from Tackle Talk. Hey, hey. Check this out. Look at these stats. Number one rated bass fishing podcast. 150,000 listeners, 3.5 million views. Andrew, how's the show? How's the show going? It's been great. Past couple days been great. Been some good seminars, been good crowds. So yeah. it's fun to meet everybody here. That's my favorite part about these expos. It's just you get to meet everybody in person and I, hang out and everybody loves the same thing you love. Yeah. I had to <laughs> wait like five minutes just to talk to you. People yeah. were just like chit chatting, man. That's, that's a, awesome. Again, that's the fun part. That's what I love. You're not the you're not the weird fish guy in here. Everybody's <laughs> no. the weird guy. Did you teach something this weekend? Yeah, so we did seminars on rod choice and you know, kind of powers and actions and really kind of helping people understand what rod's best for what application. So Heck yeah. Actually, I had Andrew on my podcast, and so if you want to check that out, he did a similar, maybe a little bit more in-depth yeah, than that one. Yeah, a little more in-depth on yours versus what so, here, yeah. I will throw that in the link below, but hey, man, yeah. good to see you. Awesome, good to see you, man. <laughs> yeah. All right, what do we got here? These things are wild. Check that out. Jake, what do you think? I mean, I'd eat it. <laughs> well, it's good, because we're about to buy some. <laughs> Because of the bass don't need it, I guess I'm gonna have to, huh? I won't need it. All right, here. <laughs> Which one's you getting? I think I'm gonna do this one. I'm liking this one. What do you think? This is a little lighter. Hey, clear? Yeah. Let me get something darker. That's the color I think I'm gonna get. Yeah, the same one as this one. All right, that's the same one. Let's do it. Low life, what you got there, brother? Got some big joshies. They, they're great for spillways, winter time. Oh yeah. When everybody's cooped up, I'm hitting the spillway. <laughs> Let me see the colors on that. Your fingers are on them. Oh. Pearl, silver fleck. Ooh, what's that this, called? What's that flight? What's that color? Purple, purple flash. Then these are uh, all the bullhead. Bullhead. Those look juicy. I love that they come with the jig head too. Yeah, I always like when they do that. What are you looking at, boss? You're on camera now. I need a new jig rod. We all need a new jig rod. We need like three or four deep, just in case. Well, the, the worst jig rod breaks. <laughs> don't don't bring it up. Oh, you remember that one time where you broke like, a ten pound bass and broke don't, your don't broke your liner rod? Don't bring it up. <laughs> So 135, 20% off, which is unheard of for St. Croix. Yeah, right? it's pretty good, yeah. Yeah, even reels over there, 10% off. Oh, ho, ho. Feel right, got it. What is it? I think I don't spin it so long. You can stand here forever. <laughs> it's got some good bearings. Oh, uh, no whammies. <laughs> Candy. Candy. Choice. Oh, you get to pick this is my lucky day. Whatever you want. I don't even know. <laughs> Two sizes got the microfiber top. I'm going candy. Definitely going to go. No. Kids glasses. Get out of here. I got two kids. That's a fight waiting to happen. You got you to spin. I'll, I'll spin. I'll spin. Yeah. Choice. Oh, sunglasses. Let's go. I'll go with these. Thank you. Thank you. Check this out. Oh, that's rad. Slides out on the rail. I haven't seen a rail down the middle. I don't see too many kayaks. Oh, okay. a little dry pod. Also, motor could go. Take this out, I believe. Only one problem with this kayak. It doesn't have pedals. It doesn't got pedals. <laughs> <laughs> and when I go to the back, it doesn't, it doesn't have a motor. Just found out that they're giving this thing away to me <laughs> at three o'clock today. So I'm just gonna wait till my phone to ring at three. It's gonna be so great. You son of a... When I put that in the back of your truck, take it all the way back up to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Look who I found! What? Look who I Dear found! Dear Wendell in the house. <laughs> How's the show going for Pretty you? Pretty good, man. Pretty good. Really good. You got your crappie side. Yeah. So we, in years past, we used to do just crappie. Now we got. We introduced more of the bass stuff, which is pretty cool. Which is more popular, bass, crappie? I'd say for us, we still kind of gravitate more towards the crappie side, but we're pushing a lot of marketing into the bass this year for sure. I went looking for leechers, and I found the small ones. Where's the Where's the big ones? Oh, the, the five inch? Yeah. They didn't bring them. Oh, they're juicy, oh, man. But I got you five dollars off the website. Hey, yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to see things are going well. Thank you, brother. And, it's been uh, a really cool year. For those looking in here for your stuff, 
Cascray.com. Cascray.com. Cascray all day. Every Monday, Shop the Wind Show, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, Jake, what you got here? Ooh. Nice little blue grill so uh, sundae <laughs> here. <laughs> Did you pick something up today? What, what'd you get? You got Norman hand painted? Oh, yeah. Yeah, everyone's airbrushed. So I buy them directly from Cracko. Okay. And uh, they uh, give me all the packaging and everything. So you're going to be uh, 1075 Nice. Yeah. You're going home with that, aren't you? I don't know. Is that, is that what you have? I might come back for it if it's still here. It might not be here. I know. <laughs> That's the last one. He said this is the hottest seller he had all week. Does it, does it stand straight up? No. I mean, I'm sure if it dropped down like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pop it straight up and down, it'll come down. All right, boss, what we got? Well, I'll tell you what, I wish I had this when I was in Gunnersville. <laughs> Just tell you that Move much. that in the light so you can see the color shift on it. Oh yeah, juicy. I wish I had that in Goddardsville. Great baits here. S waiver off action. I mean, look at the. I don't feel like the light's doing justice right now. Yeah, let me look at the detail on this. That's a hybrid bluegill. It's crazy. Sold out. Sorry. Sold, Sold out. out. Sold out. Sold out. All right, guys. It's Scott, yep. the man. Why am I showing your card? He's right there. <laughs> I love it. Good work, Scott. Yeah, absolutely. There it is, Scott Wilson. Hi, right, guys, here at Fish USA. What are you getting there, boss? Ooh, nice uh, braid cutters. You know, it's got. Speaking of braid cutters, here's a piece of braid. Comes in the middle. Wait, I don't know if you can see it in the camera. Ready? Over the white. There we go. Two little fingers here. Ooh. Butter. Butter. Mm. Love it. Oh man, found Tyler. How's it going, boss? Dude, how are you doing? Doing good. What do you got here? Because when I had you on the show just like two weeks ago, I saw these hats, but I didn't. I thought they were leather. Yeah. They are not. Yeah. So I was just explaining to him. You know, the, these hats. I have a buddy locally. He has a business called Columbus Barrel Company. So right. he takes old bourbon barrels, buys them from Kentucky, and he actually makes a lot of different products out of them. So he actually takes a, a stave off of a barrel. This is a barrel stave and he'll fillet it basically like a fish and then he lasers out a fish like you see here puts it on there and uh they stay on there so it's actually a piece of wood that's okay. on there as, lo as long as a side badge too so that's just, unique just something unique something a little bit different something that uh you know not everyone has so that's what i've been looking for did you do any uh courses or anything this week so i'm supposed to do one at two but to be honest i, I don't know if anyone's gonna show it's super bowl sunday and i'm just like i haven't really pushed it out there because i hope we're closing at three last year we were packing up by two o'clock oh wow so who knows who knows what is it it's like a scientific approach to bass fishing so i'm gonna record it as well oh yeah of course I'll, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll put i'll put it out there but All right. if i end up doing it that is i see i would geek out on the scientific approach to bass fishing yeah. that's something i would like I would yeah. all right man i'll let you get back to you you got people look at your booth all right guys there it is the monster bass story the mother it's only 425 dollars she's got the mega bass Dead slough. Two for 30. You got the feather on the bottom side of that back boy. I haven't seen that yet. Nice. So what we got here, boss? We've got some tadpoles here from here at Nico. Uh, hands down, favorite, favorite bait, Nico. The same way you'd rig the leech, the Helgramite, you can rig the tadpole in the super net as well. Uh, I know you're talking, you're a big fan of the leech. I like the Zaza leech. This thing's caught me some nice smallies. This is on a Z-Man Ned bullet. You can even go through the side or down the bottom and make it weedless. Um, no traditional way too is here's your traditional straight net. A straight net that's yeah. a fifteenth ounce. Uh, now you can also go top water of these because you know just like with all Nico baits, the yeah. tap hole float too. They're super durable. That is a number five Gamagatsu finesse hook. Finesse hook, all right. And go ahead and give that a pull with the tail if you want to. Not gonna shy. rip off. No, it will not rip off. Fish after fish after fish will nail this. And the beautiful thing too is you can rig each and every one of these ways. Another favorite way with the same bait. This is a Z-Man flashback mini chatterbait and it's 1 16th ounce. Mini, check that thing out. A 1 15th ounce. That's Z-Man. That's Z-Man. You can actually, you might find them at Walmart. Um, I, I found a few at my local Walmart, but I get them from Shields. They're like $3 a piece. They come with pre-rigged stuff. I'll just take them, toss that out, and just do it. But the action for those two baits, and even on the leech, it's insane using them as a trailer. 
it's crazy. Is that what I think it is? This, it is. This is a head Two of my engine. favorite. It's like two of my favorite lures had a baby. Yeah. Look at that thing. This is this is a <laughs> they, they call it a headache jig. And, yeah. I just saw it, it last week on online. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So the guy that makes it, he's um, he's down in North Carolina. He's Faithful Baits. I um, actually picked this one up. I was introduced to him in now the Tennessee show. It's designed to to hold a sinker. It actually comes. With, he makes a like a little four inch finesse one. Okay. And I figure it's Nico. We got to rep Nico and do that with that. So I put the shaky worm. That's a green pumpkin and then the green pumpkin crop. Oh my gosh. With that too. Holy cow, I didn't realize you made them that big. Yeah, that's the 4.25 inch. Oh. <laughs> the special thing about the 4.25, that's actually one of the prototype ones. Oh, uh, okay. Um, we've got them in six colors obsidian, mud bug, um, natural, um, southern june bug, pepper milk, and then chartreuse. Nice. It's got a nice shallow hook slot. And then the beautiful thing about this too, you'll notice there's a little hinge right there on the back. Okay. So when you're in there, you're Texas rigging, G code, dead rig, you're sending in that current, that back of that tail is going crazy. All right, I'm walking home with these. Good deal. Thanks boss, appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate you, appreciate you. There we go. That squids, look at that. I love it. Here, what do we got here? Because I haven't right, seen this before. This is our wacky Nico clip. So this is a stainless steel clip. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's two different hook holes on it. And how it works is you can't get a barb through a circle. So we machined a notch in them. You have to turn the hook. The, the barb passes through the notch, and then the barb keeps it from coming off. Okay. So we just have a Cinco here. No tools required. Just slide it on the worm. You can pinch them. They're stainless steel, so they won't rust. And there you go. There you guys is. fish a wacky rig or a Nico rig. This is the way to go. Nice. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah. I haven't seen those. I see all kinds of other things. We make a large, uh, large size for Cinco, and we make a small size for finesse worms. Okay. Yep. All right on. Got the hog trough. Except I've yet to see any hogs. Where are they at? There's one big one. That down one here. right here. Still waiting for the hog. Still waiting. Maybe. Still waiting. We got two and a half pound hogs. All right. There he is. Biggest one of the That's it. right there. Two and a half pounds. <laughs> <laughs> here at the Yak Gadget booth. Jake, what we got here, boss? It's nice a new boat. canoe. Is this swivel yep. seat? It is swivel oh, seat. Oh, it is swivel yep. seat. Shout out, Tim Sanchez. <laughs> <laughs> got it. Got your mounts. Got your sniperish thing for your FFS. Oh, check it out. Here's that thing I was telling you about. You can sew your rods here on the side and it doubles as like a rod and paddle holders. Yep. Nice. Bro, this could be your yak. $800. It's used, but a pressure wash, you can tell it's well used. I wonder what they'd say if I offered them 500 right now. <laughs> Look at this, bro. Check out the rig. <laughs> oh, I ain't messing around. <laughs> Did it? Not messing around. Look at that. That's funny. There goes another yak gadget piece. Jeez. And there's your there's your catch board. Jeez. Holder. That's the show. Should have brought mine down here. Give him some yeah, run for right? his money. I definitely wanted a <laughs> one, but I would have <laughs> gave him a run for the money. <laughs> the trailer I, I itself need, is I need sick. Some Omni ah, there it is. Get your custom trailer over here. Ooh. Here's your Hobie. Keeping it is. simple, baby. There she is. Keeping it simple. There she is. There she is. I didn't realize the kayak show. I would have brought mine. I mean, <laughs> I don't have double power poles or anything. <laughs> you sure brought your sun dolphin. Shit, I brought my sled dolphin. <laughs> I would have won. I would have won something. What would what What would you have given me? Uh, eighth place. Eighth place. Yeah. Out of eight. <laughs> Out of eight. All right, got the Titan 13.5. Look at the hatch on that thing. Can Take a nap the, in there. Uh, Jeez. Okay. Hey guys, I'm here with Dustin, owner of Raccoon Lake Outfitters, right? Outfitters? Yep. yep. Right Raccoon on. Outfitters. What do we got here, Bob? You got a lot of yaks here. We got a lot of, <laughs> a lot of yaks here. We got about 50 in uh, the show right now. Um, so right now we're standing at the new uh, Bonafide PWR uh, 129. Um, and PWR is definitely it's going to be a powered boat. That's where they set it up. So uh, it is capable of sidekicks. Um, so basically, just kind of a quick run through. Yeah. We've got um, already pre set up for an easy mount, uh, more objective, and also Bonafide both make um, a bow mount uh, for it. 
That's you can put your XI3, everything off the front. Yep. They went ahead and pre-set it up with a cutaway plate. That way you can get, put your plugs, everything really nice and simple right here. Making it easy. And and then if you decide you want to sell it later, you can take your plugs, replace it. Somebody's not getting a boot with a bunch of plugs or holes right. or any of that kind of stuff. Uh, from the SS series, they actually upgraded the hatch cover. Uh, made it a lot more durable so you can actually stand on this thing oh, wow. and beat and abuse it. But they also took and cut a slot in for your catch board. Oh, nice. So That's what that you're is. you're sitting in the seat, yep. You oh, just okay. reach up, grab your catch board, slide it off, measure your fish. Everything's all nice and simple okay. out of the way. Inside, you do have your big hatch. Um, you can get your rods, that kind of stuff in there. Mm -hmm. um, it is reversible. Yeah. Okay, once it's the in there, you can actually load it up. You can slide everything all the right way down inside. Nice. And nice. Keeping it clean and kind of keeping it to the, the roots of the, the SS series. Um, another cutaway plate. Um, surrounding plugs, wires, um, fish finders, any of that kind of wiring you want to do. Um, Bonafide is actually making a power plate. Goes up and over that, yeah. Yep, so it'll come across. Um, you can put your uh, graphs and everything all right here on it. Okay. It's nice, kind of up out of the way, and you're not putting it on your pod. Right. Um, it does have the traditional pod for the SS series, um, but they're also made a cutaway plate, so you can actually delete this. You pop this out. Now you got two screws. All right, so it's already preset up for it. Nice. Pop your screws out, put your plate on, put your screws back on it. And it creates a nice seal and it gives you a lot more of a flat deck. Yeah. Um, it does away with the pod. One of the really cool features I like about it, um, it's Runner already pre, pre set up for know, right? running a torpedo yep. or something of that nature, um, or even just a rudder. Um, it actually has a rudder on now. Yep. But you got all your foot, uh, foot steering and everything on it. It does have close to that traditional SS seat, so you do have the, the comfort of it. Um, with the high low positioning, so you can actually pump Same. this out. I like this. Drop this in, like so, and now you're locked in in a high position. That's right. About 13 inches off the deck. So, get you up so you can sight fish a little bit, that kind of stuff. Really nice and simple. Um, you got your aluminum gear tracks coming in. Underneath of your seat here, they also added another cutaway. So you can put your jack power uh, controls or kind of whatever you want, basic power and you know, that kind of stuff. You also have your um, drunk door. And it slides out, right? It's yep. on a rack. Yep. Or on a rail, yep. I mean. Yeah. On a rail, so you slide it out, put your soft plastics or your baits that you're going to be using a lot. Um, another uh, cutaway plate in here. Number four. Number four. Yep. Yeah. Well, quick draws. <laughs> yep. So you can drop your rods into them, and so those are on there. Which one? Yeah. They come on back. They actually cut this yeah. out. It'll fit a hundred amp uh, lithium battery. That's what it's for. Yep. Got it. And they they made a slide that once it's in here, you can actually put a track on it. It'll come up against it. Tighten it down. Tighten it down. Keep it from flipping out or coming loose. You also have a strap here that you can run you, around and hook onto. In case you flip it, it stays here, yeah. It stays, everything's held tight. That's smart. Um, you got your traditional bungees. Um, you do have your marine mat kit. For the black packs? The back, for your black packs, see that kind of stuff. Kind of a buffer, keeps it from making a whole lot of noise. That, that comes standard. Little dampeners, yep. yep. You got no, your fifth Number five, yep, there we go. Can't beat that. Um, so you got plenty of room to basically rig and do anything you want to do with it. Um, you do have your rudder system here. Um, so it does have the switchblade uh, rudder down underneath. Um, the controls for it is right here. So you can actually drop it down, um, steer it, everything else. Sweet. Yep. And then you have a couple more gear tracks to add camera mounts, camera mounts boom sticks, yeah, kind of whatever. Yep. So they're kind of already pre thought about it. You got your pads here. Power poles. Power poles. <laughs> cool power poles on the back. And also your bracket up here on top that you can actually run a torpedo and mount it. Yeah. All that kind of stuff really nice and simple. Um, back to your steering, they left enough rope or line on it. Yeah. That you can actually unhook this. 
if you're putting a Torquedo on it or a Newport, Bixby, anything like that, you can just unhook it here, run it up to your steering. Got it. And it's already pre set up. Yep. And then you can actually unhook the, the lift cable, reach up and hook it on top. That way you can actually use it. It's basically a plug and play type setup. Wow. Um, you got your hand on the back, uh, traditional for your SS models. Um, the tracks here are set up and they're reinforced so you can side by the sidekick uh, yeah. roll kits for them. I love those. So, and the other thing, you can see it, they got a couple of divots right here. Yeah, it's like, um, it's actually designed so if you want to add a flush mount rod holders in here. Oh, got it. Sorry, I got the, the it's whole set for you. It's just like, hey, this is where I need to punch my hole at. So, to get that angle and everything yeah. on it, they, they went ahead, pre set it up. So, if you want them on there, you don't have to wonder, you know, how do I square this up? You just put your drill bit right there, punch it through, Boom. and go with it. So you got a little divot right in, right in the corner there, on each side. Making it easy. So Raccoon, Raccoon Lake Creek Outfitters. Creek Outfitters. Yep. Where are you located down in Ohio? Southern Ohio, down by Athens. We're just outside of Athens, uh, Ohio, uh, Ohio University area, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, hour and a half south of Columbus. Right on. Hey, well, thank you for running us through this. Yeah. You guys are around the area. Man, he has a lot of them. Everything you could possibly want. I thought that was a really necessary feature when you're reaching under your seat to grab gear. Right. We have our trays as well, but we we so found that people really wanted us to focus on that. Yeah, that's their, they they started rigging this boat. Okay. A guy bought it. <laughs> I gotta strip some of my stuff off. <laughs> All right, so my battery just ran out, <laughs> so we're on the phone. That was it, guys. Hope you had a good time. TJ with us, Jake with us. We're out. See you next year, Columbus Expo.